This is a ShopBot HandyBot. And what's really cool about it is that it's an open source project. So this model was available. One of our viewers, Daniel, shot us an email and said, hey, how do I export this as a DXF if I want to route or plasma cut or water jet one of these parts? I'll show you how. Welcome to another Fusion Friday. So there are a ton of components in this file. And if you're new to Fusion 360, a component is like an individual object in the real world. So each one of these panels, that's a separate part, would be a component. And we see these components listed over here on the left. The downside is if you scroll through this thing, there's a ton of components, including a bunch of little things like every single little fastener. To jump through all that BS, and we wanna find the component, let's say it's this panel right here. If I click on it and highlight it, I still have to scroll through, but Actually, there aren't really a ton of components here. Uh, maybe there's a better way. Um, you'll see how this one got underlined. That tells me that's the component I want. I'm gonna do two things. I'm gonna hover over it and activate it. And then I'm also gonna right click and scroll down here. Oops. Uh, right click, scroll down here and hit isolate. And that isolates every other component and it gets rid of a lot of the noise uh, in the model. If I click this little triangle here and expand the component, you can see all I've got is a body. If you create a Fusion 360 file on your own, like you build a project, most of the time you're gonna start with a sketch. But because we downloaded this file, we only have bodies, no worries. Go to sketch, create sketch, click on this plane, uh, it's actually not a plane, the face of that part. So now we're sketching on the top of this part. All I need to do is sort of extract that geometry from there. So I hit P on the keyboard for project, keyboard shortcut. We get this little pop-up here. Click once in this area here and you'll see I get a bunch of purple lines. Awesome. Purple lines means they're linked back to the solid model. Now, if you take a look, look at this. We have a sketches within this component. If I expand that, this sketch one is what I want, right click, save as DXF, and boom, you can put it right there. We do that sometimes because we still use our Plasma software for certain things. We do also use the Plasma feature in Fusion 360. It doesn't have the same nesting and linking uh, in and outs as we would like, but it's getting there. Um, I hope that helps. If it does, folks, we run a Patreon page, which is a way to give back and help support us making these videos. Otherwise, we really appreciate the thumbs up, liking, commenting, or sharing this video. Otherwise, See you next Friday.